Hi everybody, I have been really struggling, really struggling with trying to get my head around this whole interrogation that happened, or interview that happened with uh, with Chris and the interviewers that flew over to see him. I am trying to understand why he is still lying, because he is blatantly still lying and has been lying to them. Everything that he said, there may have been little snippets of truth in between, but I would say the vast majority of it was a lie. What I've just come to the conclusion of when listening to it is that it is his way of controlling his environment. He has no control anymore over anything. He has lost all control. He is in prison for the rest of his life. He has no control. This is just a way of him to have some kind of control over something. And he's probably loving it. He's probably relishing in the fact that he still has some kind of control over the police and over us as to what we're seeing and what we're hearing. Um, it's him getting his uh, getting away with something else, isn't it, really? Um, I also believe that he was lying about the way that everybody was killed, the way that the children were killed. I don't believe that Bella walked in and found him wrapping up Shanann. Now, if you have done someone, no, not that anybody has any idea as to how this works, I know, but I would have thought that you would at least make sure that the children were not going to walk in if you were killing your wife or wrapping up your wife. I mean, it sounds like she just nonchalantly walked into the bedroom. How do, how would that happen? I, I, I can't get my head around that for a start. Um... Also, I think a lot of the reason that he said things was because, in a way, he already knew what we were thinking. I mean, there were all the videos out with the the, the shadows or um, seeing a child, I don't know. But, but if he had got wind of this, and he does speak to people on the outside, he does find out what's going on, he could easily have latched onto that and gone with that because he thinks, well, everybody thinks that that's what's happened, so I might as well go along with it. Um, I just can't see that he would have two children. Now, we all know that Cece was quite hyperactive um, and she, you know, was like a little bundle of, of um, a little whirlwind. I think he would have ver felt, felt very, it would be very difficult to have her in that situation with Bella. Bella was a lot calmer and, but, but Cece, but they both, they, that was what I was going to say, they both, um, very much were very mummy's girls and they would cry just very only a little even if they weren't with their mum for, for five minutes or if she disappeared for that it would upset them and they would cry now I can't imagine that Chris would want crying children in the back of the car and not only that but apparently she was on the floor of the car with them there with bin bags over her now again it just none of that makes any sense to me and he did say the reason that he put those bin bags over his over Shanann was so it wouldn't upset the children but he was on a if they were still alive in that car he was on route to kill them so he wanted to spare their feelings by putting bin liners over their mother but he was on the road and en route to kill them both. Now, again, I know he's probably not a rational person and this is coming from a rational mind. But what? I mean, honestly, it just it, it just doesn't make any sense. Um, he also said that she that, that Bella complained about the smell of Shanann. Now, I've done a bit of research into this and I've spoken to people and I actually know somebody who um does uh, works with um with with um corpses and deceased and and actually it takes between 12 and 72 hours for a body to decompose now it does make a difference in the time of day the the, the heat um that kind of thing but this was in the evening it was at night it would have been cooler it wasn't as if it was a hot bright sunshiny day so what what was going on with that? What how how could she smell something that that wouldn't have even had a chance to start smelling? So that's that's something else that I I really need to kind of 
get my head around why he would have said that because that's just not true. She would not. If he'd only just killed her, that then there's absolutely no way that that she would have been smelling. So again, I don't really understand that either. Um also he said that he couldn't remember the last thing that he said to Bella. Uh, sorry, that he couldn't understand. He couldn't remember the last thing Bella said to him, Bella's last words. Um, that's because I don't believe that there were any. I'd, he, I mean, there was no struggle from anyone. I, I don't believe that she sat there and watched him do everything that he did, bury Chanel. I don't know whether he buried Chanel first or after, but bury, uh, put put um, Cece in the oil tank, go back... And and he doesn't remember what she said. He remembers everything else. Although he does remember her saying, Daddy, no. But, and also, um, he said that she said, am I going, is the same thing going to happen? And he doesn't remember what he said. He doesn't remember. It's just, he's choosing. He's controlling his environment. He's controlling what people hear about him, what people think of him. He is controlling all of it. Um, and he, and we're letting him. People are believing what he's saying and it, and it's it it's it's not oh it's just so frustrating. Um so yeah, I just wanted to get those things out there that just don't make sense. I have more, I've just got so many that I can't get them all into one video, so I will make another one. But I've got loads and loads of points that I need to look at and need to, to go over. Um, so I will be back. I just want to get this one out there first so that we can maybe just have a look and you can comment and tell me what you think about what I've said. Um, and then uh, and then get back to me and I will do another one and see uh, see how you feel about it. Thanks ever so much, guys. And I'll speak to you later. Thank you.